Hey everyone, in this Motion Live tutorial, we're going to talk about the device settings and connection between the XSense Motion Capture System and our Motion Live plugin, which you can see being demoed right here. It's a great motion capture suite that won't break the budget and is therefore accessible to a lot more users. Let's start off by browsing the XSense website. Under the support section, you'll be able to find a variety of tutorials to help you get started with the XSense suit and hardware. Reillusion's website also has an online manual for Motion Live that you can find from the main page by selecting Add-ons, Plugins, and then going down to select Motion Live. From there, go to the Learn at the top, then Online Manual, then select Body Mocap. Under Workflow for Motion Live Body Motions, you'll find the specific Xsense settings. This will also help you when it comes to setting up multiple character calibrations as well. So let's get started. In iClone, let's go to the Plugins at the top and open the Motion Live plugin. Select Xsense under the body column in the gear list and take a look at the IP address beside it. You'll want to make sure that this is consistent in Xsense as well. Let's head over to MVN Animate Pro and take a look by going up to Options and then Preferences. You'll need to add a new item under Network Streamer that contains an identical IP address and port number from the one you saw in the gear list in iClone. So you can basically just copy and paste to ensure it's consistent. From there, make sure that only the position and orientation Euler is activated. Character metadata and scaling data can be either activated or deactivated here. After you've saved the settings, you can then connect the XSense gear profile in the Motion Live plugin window by clicking the empty green circle. You'll notice that Motion Live will automatically detect the motion data from two actors as being streamed from MVN Animate. Back in iClone, let's connect our characters. We'll start with the female dummy in the character list by clicking on the exclamation mark and selecting the XSense data streamed from actor 1. Once we begin the preview, you'll see that the female character will then mimic the actions of Actor 1 displayed in MVN Animate. As you can see, our Reillusion engineers are also very adept at other things like gymnastics and parkour. If we want to connect our male dummy to use the same mocap data as the female dummy, we can just repeat the process, this time for the male dummy character. After that, you'll see multiple dummies controlled by the same streaming mocap data from MVN Animate. In this next example, I've repositioned our two dummies opposite each other to demonstrate their movement and position relative to that streaming from MVN Animate. You'll notice that they'll run in opposite directions, basically just following the same path relative to their initial transform positions in iClone. Let's set the male dummy to receive the mocap data from Actor 2 now by repeating that same process, only this time selecting Actor 2 from the list. Notice that in the top right of the panel, the position is set to iClone, which means that the actors won't snap to the relative position in MVN Animate, rather they will begin their animations from their initial iClone poses. If we change the position setting for both our actors to mocap data, what will happen then is our characters will then snap to the position they are at in MVN Animate upon preview. The world transform positions in iClone have been harmonized with those in MVN Animate to make this possible. Next, let's just go ahead and record. The only difference here is that you need to click the record button first, then press space to begin recording whenever you'd like to begin your capture. To find the recorded data, all you need to do is go to your timeline, which you can access at the bottom of your viewport, or by pressing the F3 hotkey. You'll find the clip data has saved in the motion track of each individual character. That's about all for this tutorial, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you check out our other Motion Live tutorials and our forums at forum.reillusion.com, and I'll see you in the next video.